to determine the incidence of anogenital warts AGWs, in the Chinese general population, we compared the data from a prospective study and from the National Notifiable Disease Report System NNDRS. A cohort study including 2,378 women and 2,309 men aged 18 to 55 years old enrolled from Liaozhou, China, was conducted with three scheduled visits at six-month intervals from May 2014 to March 2016. And, a questionnaire survey was performed to collect the diagnosis history of AGWs at the enrollment visit. The data on reported AGW cases of Liazu in the NNDRS from 2006 to 2015 were also analyzed. Overall, the incidence rates of AGWs in the prospective study, in the self-reported diagnosis during past 12 months and in the NNDRS were 1.26 per 1,000 person years, 95% confidence interval, 0.16 to 2.37. 2.35, 95% 1.17 to 4.20, and 0.183, 95% 0.178 to 0.187, respectively. Human papillomavirus 6 or 11 were found in all the AGW biopsy samples, 10 tenths. The onset time of AGWs in women was earlier and the cumulative risk increased more quickly at a young age along with each subsequent younger birth cohort, P0.0001, whereas slight differences were observed in the different male birth cohorts, P equals 0.0785. The sexual behavior of individuals and their sexual partners had a strong relationship with self-reported AGWs. Our study indicates that the incidence of AGWs in China is as high as that in developed countries, and the data based on the national surveillance system seriously underestimate the real disease burden of AGWs. Introduction Anogenital warts, AGWs, also called genital warts or condyloma acuminata, is a common sexually transmitted disease, STD. In both men and women. One patients with AGWs suffer both physical, burning, bleeding, itching and pain, and psychosocial stress, anxiety, decreased self-esteem, and negative emotional and sexual impact. 2, 3, 4 The recurrence of AGWs is common, with the rate ranging from 6% to 77%, which has further increased the economic burden of medical health care and the psychosocial impact on patients. 5, 6 Previously, it was thought that AGWs were benign and not life threatening, however, recently, a Danish study indicated that individuals with AGWs had a long term increased risk of anogenital cancers and head and neck cancers, which may due to co infection with oncogenic human papillomavirus, HPV, having higher risk behavioral factors, for example, a higher number of partners, or a higher consumption of alcohol or smoking, or the poor immunity of the patients. 7. The incidence rates of AGWs among the general population worldwide are 1.6 to 2.8 per 1,000 person years, 8 and the higher rates, over 10 per 1,000 person years, were reported in 15 to 26 year old people, 9, 10 sex workers, 11 men who have sex with men 12, 13 and HIV infected individuals. 13 in China. Data regarding the incidence rate of AGWs mainly come from the National Notifiable Disease Report System, NNDRS. However, as AGWs is not a mandatory reported disease, many AGW cases are missed. The reported incidence rates from the NNDRS, which were 0.24 to 0.30 per 1,000 person years from 2008 to 2016, might severely underestimate the real disease burden of AGWs in China. 14 and data from the general population based on cohort studies are scarce. HPV types 6 and 11 cause more than 90% of the cases of AGWS.15 The administration of HPV vaccines containing HPV 6 and 11 antigens is the highly effective approach for preventing AGWs. After the introduction of the national quadrivalent HPV, types 6, 11, 
16 and 18, Gardasil, vaccination program, a significant decline in diagnosed AGWs at the population level has been reported in Australia, 16, 17 Denmark 18, 19, 20 and the United States. 21 Further, a recent ecological study in England, where a bivalent HPV vaccine, types 16 and 18, cervix, program was introduced in 2008, has shown a reduction in the rates of AGW diagnoses in males and females, 25.4% and 30.6%, respectively. From 2009 to 2014, 2 Gardasil and Cerverix were licensed in China in May 2017 and July 2016, respectively. Uncovering the real incidence rate of AGWs in China before HPV vaccination is essential to understand the effectiveness of the licensed HPV vaccines in China. The purpose of this study was to investigate the prevalence and incidence of AGWs in the Chinese general population through the comparison of data from a prospective study and from the national surveillance system. In addition, we estimated the risk factors associated with self-reported history of clinically diagnosed AGWs, 